Just one other thing I want to mention. Uh, you notice I have my little mare in here while I'm working with this guy, and normally I don't recommend that. Uh, as you can see, the other two are outside of the corral. We don't want uh, any more congestion in here than necessary. Uh, it can actually be quite a, a safety issue. Uh, in the past, this guy would frequently go after my mare and push her around and uh, make her move, and which uh, just about got me hurt a couple times uh, when I didn't lock the gate and keep him out. And uh, also in the past, this guy, uh, you know, if he reared at me, turned butt to me or whatever, and it didn't work because I, I don't let him intimidate me, otherwise he wins. Uh, and he'd get mad and he'd actually go take it out on my mare. He'd chase her around and bite her on the butt. So uh, even though having two horses in here at the same time is a bit of a safety issue, um, I've actually I've actually got her in here for a reason. She's acting as a bit of a barometer. Uh, for the progress we're making with this guy and his behavior and uh, you know it shows me the change in him because uh, he's not being aggressive towards her at all he's not chasing her he hasn't made a single move towards her she's still a little cautious around him though because of the past but uh, he hasn't made a single move towards her which is great uh, which tells me that you know his demeanor has changed, his attitude has changed. He's not the bully he used to be. Plus, it also tells me I'm not pushing him too hard. You know, I let her help me. She's actually helping me work with this guy because uh, having her in here tells me uh, what I'm doing with this guy, and whether I'm pushing him too hard and making him nervous uh, to the point where he's getting upset with me and he wants to go take it out on her. And he's not doing that, so uh, I think I'm doing my job right. I'm kind of trying to read him as best I can, um, doing wonderfully here, and uh, thanks to my little assistant over there, uh, might seem odd having a second horse in here, and in you know, many cases that can actually be a dangerous thing to have two horses together, but uh, in this case there's actually a reason for it, and uh, her being in here is actually being quite useful. So there you go, I just thought I'd explain what I'm doing there why I'm doing it and why I'm doing something that uh, normally I wouldn't do and would normally be a potentially a dangerous thing to do is having more than one horse in the area that you're working in but there's always a reason